Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to this brief uh, screencast on how to use Slack. So at this point, I've sent out Slack invites to every member of the science and technology departments at both the high school and Robert Frost. And um, you can totally access Slack through the web if that's what you're looking to do. Um, you can just go to slack.com and you can sign in and choose your teams and so forth up here. That's actually probably not the best way to use Slack. The best way to use Slack is probably to download the desktop clients and also the app for your phone. So I have it over here as a desktop client. The way I did that was I just went to uh, Slack and I downloaded the desktop client. And that's probably going to be the best way to do it um, because you can just put in your information. So once you do that, you're going to get something that looks like this. Let me just go to full screen. And so we have our um, Deer Park Science Slack chat over here. So what you can see over here is the uh, information about the Slack chat right here. And then we've got a series of different channels. And I'll have when I invited you, I'll have put you into different channels, but you can go into any channels that you want. You'll automatically be put in the general and random channels. And then depending upon where you teach and what you teach, I will put you into uh, other channels as well. And so like, for instance, it's the high school channel. There's not much here right now. Um, but as things come up uh, that need the attention of everybody who teaches at the high school, I'll just put them here in this channel, or you can you can do similarly as well. Um, the general channel, I put a couple of things already, so I've just put links to things that you're already aware of. Um, I have also pinned a couple of things up here. Um, I pinned this article up here, which I thought was kind of an interesting article, and maybe you want to read it about some teachers who used Slack poorly. And uh, I would beg you not to do that. But if you want to read about idiots, uh, that's a good place to go to read about idiots. You can click over here and you can get all sorts of information. And over here, you can see different details about the channels. You can look at the pinned items, for instance. Um, and that's an easy way to go about kind of navigating your way around it. But the bottom line is for the channels, anything you post in the channel, anybody who's in that channel will be able to see. Uh, but you can also direct message people in Slack. And for that, you would manage these direct message options right here. And so, for instance, I've put Ed onto uh, Slack earlier than everybody else. Make sure to tell him that you're jealous of that the next time you see him. But if I just want to talk to Ed, I can just talk to Ed here, right? So I can say like, hey, I think you're awesome. And that'll go in here and only Ed will see that. Um, you can in, you can set up a direct message between multiple people if you want. So if you guys wanted to have a direct message for whatever reason, uh, you can do that here. But just again, um, remember that while while the various decision makers in the district can't look at your direct message records right now, in the future, if they decided that they wanted to um, use Slack at a particular price level and tier, they could get those records. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I want to be very overt here with you to let you know that, you know, your direct message logs are not currently viewable, but they could be viewable by other people in the future. So just uh, understand that kind of going into it, certainly. Um, but yeah, that's basically how Slack works. It's kind of a combination between email and instant messages. My advice would be to put the desktop client maybe on your work computer and also to put the app on your phone. And that way, if, uh, you know, if you need to get in touch with me really quickly, it's probably a better way of doing it than email for um, a lot of reasons. So I would recommend that you use it. Of course, if you have no use for this at all, if this just seems like yet another tool that you're not interested in using, I totally understand that. And that's not the, I'm not trying to force you guys to use a tool that has no use for you. So please feel free, like you don't need to, uh, to do that in that case. All right. So that's Slack. I uh, hope that was helpful. And uh, thanks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. All right. Take it easy.